right, let's keep going. Uh, number four, we have cavernous and other vascular malformations. So cavernous malformations or dilated blood vessels, I have a whole video on this. Um, other vascular malformations, for instance, arterial venous malformations, where again, the blood vessels are big and dilated. You could either born, be born with these and they get bigger over time or they can just develop. You have really no bearing on, you know, if you haven't done anything wrong basically to create this um, malformations. And generally they don't do much if they get to a size where they cause some swelling. You can have seizures, um, you can have headaches, you can have other disorders. If these start bleeding, um, that, was, that can also cause irritation and seizures. Um, surgery might be an option here especially if you're younger so definitely talk to your doctor these do tend to run in family so that's important to know number five tumors uh, tumors are also um, not congenital they are acquired you can see them although in childhood and also in adulthood benign tumors tend to be less epileptogenic than non-benign tumors for instance glioblastomas tend to be terribly epileptogenic whereas meningiomas once you get them taken out usually patients do really well um, but again i could probably do a whole video on the various types of tumors that i've seen on to the next one